Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at this lovely little UK legal pocket knife from Boca Plus. This is the Tech Tool 1, which is available as various different versions from 1 to 8 currently, I believe. So each one of those has different tools on it. This is the one with just a knife and a glass breaker, and that's why... I saw this and instantly was like, I must have that, also because it was really cheap. I've been wanting a glass breaker for a while now on a knife that is UK legal, or, uh, you know, you would say UK friendly carry. So this is um, non-locking, which means, you know, it's more of a gentleman's pocket knife. And this is um, something that, you know, you use more carefully, you open more carefully, you know, you, you open it and close it with uh, both hands. Like, well, closing it, I actually find it easier with one hand. But uh, yeah, nice strong uh, detent there on the uh, opening and closing mechanism. It's a slip joint, so we've just got a, sort of a spring backspacer there. Not a spring, but just a backspacer that's putting pressure on the blade. And it does take effort to close it, which is nice. But still, it could in theory accidentally close on your hand in, you know, let's say your material that you're cutting, uh, let's say you're cutting a box and your material moves forward for some reason, then in theory that could close on your fingers. So it's one of those things that you use more carefully, more gently, I would say. This is also uh, fairly small and compact. Uh, the size here is uh, something like a three inch blade, under three inch to make it uh, UK legal. And it is about 58 grams, so nice and lightweight. Uh, a very nice knife. It's got a pocket clip, which is one of the reasons that people like this is that it's sort of a Swiss army knife, but looks a bit nicer. I mean, at least in my opinion. I mean, some people would prefer the more rounded shape. But uh, these are available as various different options, different colors and whatever. This red one actually is sort of a limited edition. It's uh, made by uh, Heine Haynes. He, Heine, Heine Haynes. Honey Hones. I have no idea how to say their name, but it's uh, like a knife shop, I think. So uh, basically, they, they said it's a limited edition. I get, I'm guessing they made about a thousand of them because mine is number zero and then 400 something. So uh, it's not actually limited. I've looked on their website now a couple of weeks after I bought this, maybe a month, I don't know. But um, now they're saying that you can pre-order you know, a knife from the next batch that they're making. So it's not exactly limited and it's not expensive. You know, I don't collect knives and I don't care that it's limited or not, but it's somewhat, somewhat limited. So um, this is just a, a beautiful little uh, stylish, I mean, at least in my opinion, uh, I also really like the look of the black one, but you know, I wasn't gonna buy two just for the color. So um, this is sort of a gentleman's pocket knife in my opinion. And you can see that the blade here has a nice mirror finish on it, which is really nice to see on a cheap pocket knife. I'm not sure if I actually have any other ones with a mirror finish. And I think that looks really, really nice. So you can see my reflection on the uh, reflection of my hand and the knife there. So that's nice, and that's normally not done on cheaper knives. This was about twenty pounds, and about twenty-five pounds for the black one, which is just fantastic. Now the uh, glass breaker, I think, would be a nice tool to have in your pocket because it doesn't take up much space, and it's one of those things that I, I think it's nice to know that you have one, even though I mean, what are the chances that you have to? rescue someone out of a car, probably <laughs> probably will never happen to anyone. Well, it will happen just to a few people, but probably will never happen to me, uh, mostly because I'm never in a car and I'm never on the motorway. Or, you know, I'm not very often um, on the road. But still, I think it's a great little thing to have. And uh, obviously, I like that it has a pocket clip. I was actually looking at the Spyderco Rody, which was another sort of very non-aggressive knife. One of the reasons I haven't been carrying my Boca Plus uh, Nano 42, even though I, I love the ergonomics of it, and I did modify a little bit, I made a, a cutout here for this to just sit in my hand better and to not be able to close on my fingers, even though it's UK legal, but there's pretty much no way, in my opinion, that's gonna close on my fingers after that modification. So the reason I haven't been carrying this is that even though it's small and sort of rounded and doesn't really have a big tip and stuff like that. It's still somewhat, I mean, it's wide and it's sort of, I don't know, somewhat, it's not exactly like tactical, but somewhat tactical, uh, just because of the, the black thing on there. Anyways, so that's sort of why I haven't been carrying this around because I want something that really isn't tactical, you know. Um, so uh, basically, uh, basically as, as, as least aggressive as possible. So actually for a while, and I still do carry this sometimes, just carry this little guy, which I actually really, really like. 
Um, I don't like it quite as much anymore that it's really sort of scratched up from being in my pocket for probably half a year or something. But uh, I do really, really like this, um, you know, really useful, tiny little, uh, this is um, Victorinox. I'll put a link down below to my review about this one. Uh, really lovely, tiny little tool. And actually, the reason I have a few uh, things back there is just to show you a few red. For some reason, I've been buying red knives recently. Um, not very many. There's four in total. But uh, still, I, I, um, a couple of days ago, I got this Victorinox. Uh, not, um, not a Swiss Army knife, but a uh, tomato knife for six pounds from Amazon. So, um, yeah, all my uh, tomato knives, or tomato knives, depending on where you are, uh, are um, they're just about 20 years old and rubbish. So um, I bought this one, quite pleased with it. I might review that at some point, I guess. Um, for six pounds, very nice. And my Milwaukee uh, Fastback Pocket, I believe it's called, or Mini or whatever they want to call it. It's the, they've got a really huge one of these, even though this one's not exactly, it's not exactly tiny. Uh, but it's a utility knife. This thing, I just, I use these all the time and my previous one was annoying me. And I saw that Milwaukee had um, a small one of these that can open and close really quickly, which, you know, I don't carry this in my pocket because it's locking. But for my workshop, which is not really a workshop, it's the place where I live and I have a tiny little workspace. But uh, it's um, it's a lovely little thing. I love this thing. Um, just a, a brilliant little knife. I'll, I think I'll review this as well. A few more things to note. There's... Uh, these scales are removable, so you can actually disassemble this. I did that as soon as I got it, just because I like tinkering with stuff. So this is, uh, you know, you just undo these screws and the entire thing just comes apart. And uh, yep, so in case you want to maybe swap out the scales fairly easily, um, that's uh, something you can't do very easily with uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knives. This is very sharp. It's got a really nice uh, concave shape to the blade there. So sort of, um, I think that that would be called something like a concave grind. I'm sure it's got a technical name, which I don't know. But uh, this is very thin. It's a very thin blade. Uh, so you can see that sort of goes inwards there. And that means that it's fantastic for delicate cutting and cutting without putting much effort onto the knife. Obviously, depending on how sharp you keep it, my one right now is Still fairly sharp. It's not as sharp as it's you know as it was from the factory, which was very very sharp, and that's just because I've been using it every day. Nice pocket clip works really well. Easy to clip on and off. Uh, cuts very well. Came sharp out of the factory, and looks nice. Is lightweight, comfortable to use, and just uh, for twenty pounds, it's uh, it's a great buy. I think so. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this useful. If you want to support this channel, then you can get yours through the links down below. And um, I'll, uh, and this is not sponsored, just, you know, I have um, eBay and Amazon links as usual. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.